you know, like splintered teeth fly across the room. Meanwhile, Ko detonates the floor of the hut with the C4-tipped arrowhead. Boom! The whole floor goes. You know, splinters, smoke everywhere, lights are out. Rambo and Ko take off. At this point, Tay has, uh, has run for reinforcements. Rambo takes uh, the bow and arrows and, and starts from from Co and starts shooting out all the searchlights around them as they run and like lightning strikes uh, the generator and, and blows up and like the whole camp goes dark and phosphorus phosphorus bullets like fireflies are like whizzing past Rambo and Co as they run and Rambo uses the bow to jack apart the barbed wire fence you know to get Co under to get himself under and they escape off into the jungle. So all hell is breaking loose everywhere. Mayhem is at the helm. Podofsky orders his men, sends a very lazy Vin out to finally get his hands dirty for a change. Um, which is a running joke here between everyone in that camp. Between Vin and Tay especially. Uh, they both hate each other. And Anushin jumps in his chopper armed with a dragon minigun you know bloody face split lipped you know fragments of flesh and jagged teeth in his mouth which he is painfully reminded of every time he speaks or moves his mouth and he looks on as one soldier mistakenly steps on a landmine and is blown away uh the hunt begins Yushin just fuel I, I can just imagine the vibration from a helicopter must be fucking up the nerves in his teeth. You know, he must be, like, really fucking mad. And that... And, and and while Yushin is chopping down parts of the jungle with his dragon gun in Fury, like this massive minigun on the chopper, Tay sets out on his own hunt for Rambo. Very personal, because the first time Rambo escaped, he should not have been able to. You know, he was three-fourths dead. And... After all, as a punishment, the VC commander was demoted to sergeant and forced to spend his remaining time in the military working in this piece of shit camp. So people laughed and joked about him constantly. Uh, but along the way, since then, he became like this master expert tracker. You know, imagining that everyone he's ever had to track or escape and track was Rambo. Like, he's totally fixated on Rambo. He felt blessed that God gave him this chance and there was no way that Rambo was going to escape again you know it's personal so once lost you know from the military Rambo and co rest up for for a minute and Rambo tells her that for saving his life you know he will marry her like he he belongs to her and bring her to America he's gonna bring her to America reunite her with her son and, and leftover family and, and they kiss and set out on their way but are intercepted by Yushin who blasts that dragon minigun everywhere ripping up the ground Puff the Magic Dragon style decimating everything in its path you know um, it's 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 pretty insane everything in, in its wake is destroyed um, from its fire and constantly dodging fire and debris. In a moment, Rambo soon realizes that Ko is no longer by his side. Yushin has mowed down Ko. And I believe he goes back for her. I think, uh, yeah, he goes back for her. Most, most of her is gone, but he runs carrying what's left of her still, li like, still live body, you know. And it's pretty decimated and blood-soaked and... As the chopper is blasting everything around them till they're out of sight. And I think Yoshi, uh, Yushin goes back for fuel. And she dies in his arms. And he buries her in the Wat, absorbs her energy, adopts her Buddhist charm. Um, luck or, or not, you know, it's on now. And with the. With the. I, I guess this you know in tow grabs the bow stands and 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 snaps you know rambo finally goes rambo 
And that whole turn going around with, you know, Ko dying in his arms, most of her, her gone. Most most of her body's gone. And, and um, you know, he buries her deep in the ground as to not attract animals, to make sure she has a, a good resting place. He chooses his resting place. And you can see that snap come on. Like when he steps up in tow and grabs the bow. And man, it's it's on now. Like all bets are off. People are gonna die. He doesn't care. It's uh he's been pushed too far, just like in the first one. Now Rambo snaps and Rambo goes Rambo. So absolutely no time is wasted getting into the reverse hunting montage the blood zone and rambo dispatches without prejudice you know he's covered head to toe in mud kind of like in the sequel very briefly when he's in the wall he's covered in mud when he comes out like that but through the whole ordeal this time you know through the whole hunting montage and using it as as camo and in the background to kill and kill and kill. I mean, he fucking kills everybody. Like, he's... He pretty much looks like the forest. It, you know... He's pretty much like... Like like a mud man. Um, it's pretty awesome. So, he's taken out the trash. Tay narrowly escapes an ambush by a bow fire. Most of this montage is... Uh, related over radio which is something I love you know um I think it's from the Cameron script too where uh, you know a surprised he's alive Murdoch receives word from his radio men you know that that Rambo is like pretty much sing single handedly handedly taking down the United Russian and Viet Cong forces reports you know flood in over and over it's like a really long awesome scene with Murdoch just, you know, freaking out more and more over and over with every with every new word. And the words just keep on coming in. The reports are amazing, you know, like um ab about, you know, Rambo's path of destruction, you know, like bare hand combat, arrow combat, makes makeshift bombs, booby traps, he even makes like a catapult from his surroundings. The kill kill count now is probably in the hundreds and as the joke is told, you know, via Troutman to Murdoch, you know, spears and slingshots, boy scout, a boy scout stuff, eh? And it pretty much feels like all the people Rambo killed in the first novel is equal to that. I forget what our kill count was for the First Blood 1972 review. Um, this one, obviously, I didn't do a kill count for it just because there's just so much more so many more people who die kind of behind the scenes that that rambo kills that um you can't really count it it's just an orgy of destruction pretty much and i i would like to compare this long scene and what happens next and you know compare that amount of death to the amount of death we saw in the first blood 72 novel I would think that, you know, I'm pretty sure it surpasses it, actually, because Rambo's taking out whole villages worth of of people. Like, he actually takes out pretty much a whole army, maybe even two armies, like the Russian spooks and the, uh, and the Viet Cong troops, too. So, like, Rambo's encrusted in mud and blood, you know, leads the army through, a, like, a small village, jumps on a... Uh, truck bed full of chickens and but the truck gets taken out and they look for um for uh for john jay's body in the rubble and he's in the wreck and he's not around and they follow like this trail of blood into the tall elephant grass and they should have counted the chickens because it was a trap you know using the innards of his knife and a gas can and a match from from the knife and and the chickens that you know from the truck the trap is set and fused and dozens of enemy fighters are burned alive like burned alive screaming smell of flesh everywhere tay comes across vin who's who 
who comes like pouring out of the elephant grass as, as it's all going up and Vin's just burning alive, you know, burning the fuck alive. Um, while Tay watches on joking and says like, you know, Vin, you finally got dirty. Um, you got your hands dirty, you got your suit dirty, you know, like that joke, the jokes just between those two characters, they, they really fucking hate each other. And it's looking good for Tay because Tay being the one that everyone's ridiculing, he's actually the one who's almost one step ahead of Rambo. So Vin burns alive and then Tay tracks Rambo around for a bit and is finally hit with an arrow in the stomach. And then Rambo hits the detonator. Revenge is served as Tay is blown to bits. Grandmaster Chang gets the uh what do you call, what do you call that? Like the a graceful send off as he is atomized into uh into the air pretty much. He's just blown apart. And Yushin via chopper finally returns for Rambo. Uh the napalm pom the napalm bomb is dropped and Johnny dives from the waterfall and Kadoom! The whole place is taken out. So the chopper guns uh, guns down the water and then comes down to investigate the water. And water uh, Rambo kind of jumps up from the, the fiery water below, takes out um, a gunman. I think he like stays on the side for a bit and then they start taking off. And then he takes out the gunman. Um, kind of like that. And then um, a second... And what I meant to say before is... Steven's character gets the epic send-off he deserves. You know, it's it's full circle from that story. That's like one of the paradoxes closed. Um, but could be reopened again. Maybe if we saw Stephen Chang's character return in uh, Rambo 5. Doubtful, but imagine how cool it would be. So anyway, Rambo gets on the uh, helicopter... A second pilot takes over, and Rambo and Yushin duke it out. It's a really long fight, and kind of in the end, Rambo is tossed out of the side of the chopper. But as he's tossed out, he grabs onto the dragon gun and kind of uses his momentum swinging the dragon gun inside as, as he's outside. You notice his feet are like dangling in the air. So he's got his hands on that dragon gun, and um, he... 